quite a number of artefacts in the West Country, in West Country, but it was his, as part of that celebration of, two, of his 200 year anniversary, we set up this week long summer school where students came in and they learned about designing a sports stadium. Now this was an extension really of the previous kind of example where students got lots of hands-on opportunity, chance to make their design. They had to design it using professional AutoCAD packages, so they had to think about the, the design from using that. They had, to, they had inputs from professional engineers, from civil engineers, from undergraduate and postgraduate students, and specialist workshops on all of the areas. The interesting thing is that they were also working in teams. They had to work, at the, within their team, they had to have a, a structural engineer, that's an environmental engineer, they had to have a, an, an architect, and all of these, te these teams came together to design their, their structure. So and what you can see them... Okay, I'm nearly there. Um, so at the end of it, they came, they came together and had to make a presentation, and that's a really important point, because they had to make a pitch about their, their best design to, to a panel of, of professional engineers and that the winning team had to justify their designs, and you can see the quality of some of their work. These students were about 13, 14 when they were doing that. I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to mention this briefly. This is another opportunity that I got involved with through the Association for Science Education in the UK. This runs every two years in Sydney. It's called the Harry Metal Summer School, a fantastic example of a gifted and talented, um, basically, workshop for young people who are about age 16. Basically, a number of people from all international countries come together and they have access to a whole range of STEM activities, input from lectures like, similar to the ones we've had, but also lots of hands-on activity. And the idea is to try and promote that engagement with, with STEM subjects. And what's really great about it is those people are all coming together from an international background, coming together and talking and conversing. So giving them the social opportunities to mix is really helping them develop that interest in STEM. My final slide really is a sum up of some of the areas that I've touched on and the sort of conditions, if you like, needed for nurturing STEM and gifted and talented. There needs to be a leadership and a policy that supports the whole process at national level, I would have thought. The learning environment needs to be carefully controlled. So thinking about inquiry skills and particularly informal learning opportunities. Knowledge acquisition is still important, but that informal learning is, is crucial. Context is, is a wonderful thing for the, the students to see the reason why they're studying a particular subject. And having competition and resources and a curriculum that supports that is really important. I touched on specialisation. 